welcome back to Photo Finds. I am John Kurowski, and thank you for joining me on this post-Thanksgiving feast of photos and observations on this special Home for the Holidays edition. We are recording this live from Disney's Old Key West Resort, a Disney Vacation Club resort, the first Disney Vacation Club resort, uh, which opened on October 1st, 1991, uh, when it was simply known as only the Disney Vacation Club resort. Since then, every deluxe resort on property either features a DVC section or soon will, with the Polynesian Resort being the latest, in addition to locations in South Carolina, Hawaii, and Vero Beach, Florida. For the holidays, when you approach the resort, you are greeted by three pelican topiaries. The brown pelican is a bird you can find in abundance in Key West, Florida. Each pelican features colorful ornaments in their mouths, along with some wrapped presents. They're also different shapes and sizes, and in previous years they featured the pelicans, uh, they were facing each other. Uh, this year they are all facing the road. Also as an added touch, each pelican is strung with a strand of uh, Christmas lights, which makes it all festive. When the Imagineers were developing uh, Disney's old Key West Resort, they came up with the idea of making it a small town in Key West, Florida. Uh, called Conk Flats. The Latin motto of Conk Flats as seen here on the sign translates to um, for the good of the person I came, I saw, I came to the infinite. Uh, but to give the feeling of, the, of, the, of a small town, it welcomes everyone in and the sign states that you are entering Conk Flats, Florida, where the population is friendly. The resort was built on the already existing Lake Buena Vista Golf Course, on hole 8 to be exact. And each villa features a view of the golf course or water feature, or even the Sasagula River, uh, a, body of water, a shared body of water with uh, Disney Saratoga Springs Resort, the only, full, the only other full DVC resort on property. Uh, we stayed in a two-bedroom villa, uh, but here is the lobby, which features a theme to a, a train station. It also features Papa's Den, a small quiet room named after Ernest Hemingway, the American author. But here's the two-bedroom uh, lobby. Here's the sitting room. Very spacious. It's the most spacious of, of any of the DVC uh, D Disney Vacation Club resorts. Uh, it, the, the couch opens up to a bed as does the chair. Here is the dining location which is um, connected to it as well as a full kitchen. Uh, as you can see we were um, chosen to be part of the test for the My Magic Plus, My Magic Plus wristbands. Uh, here is the, uh, the master bedroom which features a king size bed and it is connected to a uh, to the bathroom, which you can see through this window um, right here. Uh, the bathroom is very big, as you can see, with a walk-in shower. Uh, the shower door itself features the Kong Flats logo of the two palm trees. Now, the bathroom and the master bedroom is connected to this room right here, which features this large bathtub with a, a um, with a with jets and a pedestal sink, which makes uh, getting ready much more efficient. This is the other bedroom that is hung off the other side of the room with two queen-size beds. Uh, it also features its own bathroom as well. And it also features a small sitting area. Um, and as you can see, with the, there's the Magic Bands box on the table again. Uh, we had a very hard time with the Magic Bands during part of the test. Um, it would not let us make a My Magic Plus profile. Uh, even um, nor be it able to book Fast Pass Blusters and hopefully they'll get these kinks worked out soon. On a more positive note, uh, Disney Vacation Club members have been welcomed home since 1991, since it opened, and for the past several years, uh, anyway, is the annual tradition of the DVC Merry Mixer. Uh, starting on November 25th and running for four consecutive Mondays, the Merry Mixer is held at the World Show Place in Epcot, and it's coming right off of the Party for the Senses, uh, so most of the decorations from Party of the Census stayed up. The little swirly things from the ceiling makes us makes it feel like the like it. Each guest is uh, offered a voucher for a holiday goodie, which could be one of these Mickey Mouse cookies or a Rice Krispie, plus cider or hot cocoa. Uh, also connected to the voucher is a entry to enter for a drawing, which I don't do because all that does is solicit you for more DVC points. Christmas Mickey Mouse and Minnie are on hand to meet and greet guests, as is Santa Goofy. And Pluto, uh, each they each separate lines with their own different holiday backdrops. Um, also, there is a DJ on hand to entertain. He plays everything from Cupid Shuffle, Ho, Ho Down Throwdown, and even What the Fox Says. I always like looking at all the different decorations that come from event services, including this little model of the KC Junior Circus Train. 
Other entertainment are these two elves. Um, depending on your interaction with them, they will determine whether or not you, you belong on the naughty list or the nice list. And yes, the naughty or nice list is determined on receipt paper. Also on hand are Santa and Mrs. Claus. Now Santa is dressed as the Canadian lumberjack holiday storyteller who is absent from the roster this year on um, the holidays around the world storytellers. And Mrs. Claus is portrayed by a familiar face to the DVC community. She used to star in the DV Paxter Bags um, webisodes, uh, the first lady of DVC. When the new management of Vacation Club came in, they retired the character, but it's nice to see that this performer is still working. She is uh, very talented and truly very funny. Um, so I'm glad it's, it's a, she's always a, ple a pleasure to see no matter what she is doing on property. Um, with the discontinuation of the Canadian Holly Holiday Storyteller comes the change from the bagpipe rock band off kilter. Uh, for the holidays, they have changed to the Canadian Holiday Voyagers. Uh, feature, it still features regular and alternate members off kilter. This group is led by a female singer performing holiday carols. Off kilter has a small but passionate group of fans uh, who look at this move as controversial and quite not happy with the change. But it's worthy to note that the fans and the band members are probably happy that they're still able to sustain a living as musicians. In France, these uh, peppermint uh, add-ons to the light posts comes in like the pinwheels or the half candy canes. Very nice addition to holidays in France. But what is sadly absent are these um, Bon Appetit Remy banners uh, as the Remy interacting animatronic uh, that used to entertain for lunch at Chefs de France has been abruptly discontinued. Uh, the great holiday tradition of candlelight processional started last week with the lots of big changes to the popular show. Uh, most notable is the set. The center tree that uh, used to contain of the Walt Disney cast member choir has changed to this tiered birthday cake-like structure. Also, uh, the stained glass windows that flank both sides of the stage have um, changed to this more uh, quarter of a circle with these triangles to give that Epcot spaceship birth feel. Uh, the two, the new tree switches up how the cast stands. Before the taller men would stand at the top, but now the shorter females take the top while the taller guys are at the bottom. This is how we decorate our trees at home. Larger ornaments on the bottom, small ornaments on top. Also, uh, the star, which you see on the top, has changed. It's now hanging stationary throughout the show. The most previous version of the star would rise from behind the cast. Um, and before that, it was actually a headpiece that the top would wear. Uh, strapped to under his chin. Uh, other altercations to the show, uh, the song Do You Hear What I Hear is no longer included, and the notable omission uh, to Dr. James Allen's 1926 poem One Solitary Life. No matter what your beliefs are or whether you feel the show based on its content belongs in a theme park, it's no worthy of the latter omission um, as this was one segment of Candlelight Processional. Besides the narrator, that would consistently receive applause after it was recited. The show debuted on Friday, November 29th with guest narrator Gary Sinise, who announced during the show that this was his 10th year performing as a candlelight narrator. And on the other side of World Showcase, Duffy the Disney Bear started greeting guests in his holiday attire. This, um, this outfit Duffy has been wearing for the past three years. And um, also over in Tokyo Disneyland, when Duffy originated, uh, these are the outfits that they created. They like to swap, uh, switch out their merchandise and entertainment offerings from year to year. So when you're walking around Cape Cod Village, you will see lots of merchandise and Duffy and Shelley May, his gal, wearing this. One of my favorite uh, add-ons to Tokyo Disneyland is the addition of this popcorn bucket for the holidays featuring the little green man from Toy Story. I've been carrying this around the parks every time I go to Mickey's Christmas or holidays around the world or the Osborne Lights, and it is noteworthy how much attention it gets, how many people ask me where did I get it, or um, just pointing at it. Uh, in the shops next to Duffy, the Disney Bear, uh, these new posters have been added above the cash wraps. Here we see Mickey and Minnie Mouse and Pluto walking along the streets of Paris. Here is Viking Goofy in Norway. We also have Japan featuring Mickey Mouse and Donald and Daisy Duck buying their Vespas through Italy. Over at Hollywood Studios, a new coffee shop has opened inside Pixar Place. Featuring the brickwork that you'll see around Pixar Place, this new Joffrey's Coffee Spot um, is added, plus the one that we talked about a few weeks ago at the exit to the Muppets. 
Um, it's not it's not cleverly named like that one is, but it does feature the same logo that you find at the locations at TGC and the front of Epcot. And lastly, we're going to go head over to the Beach Club Resort where its annual gingerbread display is on hand, featuring an edible version of the Stormalong Bay Lighthouse. Um, each year, they always use a carousel as its theme. This year is no different. Here is the horse Nofia. Next to her is Holiday, which you can see a Christmas Sandman on, printed on her. And here is Pixie, and notice a confectionery version of Tinkerbell is underneath her. Candy versions of other characters, including Mickey and Minnie Mouse, in their beach attire can be seen. And King Triton also offers a gingerbread version of his palace, too. Which can't be found, though, as in usual years, is the gingerbread shop that is located usually adjacent to the display. But the Beach Club gift shop itself does smell a, sauce, a small selection of gingerbread items made by the Disney pastry chefs themselves. So that is going to do it for me. As they say in Illuminations now, let there be peace on Earth as we get into the holiday season. I look forward to speaking with you all soon, uh, especially next week when we have a new show with new photos and new things to talk about.